What's up, people? All right, this is going to be a quick look at the latest open box version of Manjaro Linux. Of course, Manjaro Linux based on Arch Linux. Those of you who use Arch realize that it is not usually not for beginners. What Manjaro Linux attempts is to make the distributions, their version of Arch Linux, a little bit more user friendly. There is OpenBox, Linux Mint, F, uh, XFC, and some other versions I believe supported by the community. I chose this one because uh, I've tested this in the past, the previous versions version of this, and it's super insanely fast, uh, even running this inside a virtual machine. So let's take a look at the default desktop and see what we have here. Uh, this is, if if you look here towards the right, this this graph, this graphic here that you see with the time and date and the the shortcuts, this is called Conky. Uh, there are many ways to customize this. If you are a beginner, I can't really say Conky is for beginners, but once you have this up and running, it's pretty slick. Uh, this of course has the time and date. It is in 24-hour format. I highly recommend by twisting both your arms that you read the documentation for this. If you don't read the documentation, at least for the open box version of Manjaro Linux, you will probably not use this. I do like here that they included the shortcuts by default. For example, it says here, if I hold down the super key and S, the super key is the Windows logo key and S, you can do a search. Now this normally boots, uh, boots up to the welcome screen and I just type WE and enter and definitely take a look at this at the wiki, new features, the forums, go to the Arch Linux wiki. Again, I'm, I'm going to twist both your arms, so to speak, that you read that because if you don't, you are not going to use this. And let's see, it looks like this is Manjaro Linux. This is, this is the version 0 0.8.7, I do believe, 32-bit. Okay, well, I talked about this graphic here on the right, the conky. Right-clicking, this is how you get to your applications, uh, menu, submenu. Uh, those of you who have been using pre before Windows 8, I've seen this before, similar to what XP was, and probably a little bit of Win, a little bit of Windows Vista, and Windows 7. I do like this uh, menu, submenu, getting to where you need to go. This this is what I call click and go. Let's go to the file manager. And you can change how these uh, icons, how your folders look. If I just go to View, Detailed, and Compact. So I'll just leave that the way it is there. You can just click X. All right, let's keep on going down the uh, menu here. Uh, terminal, Nitrogen, how to blow up stuff. No, this is actually the wallpapers. Nice selection of somewhat different, uh, rather simplistic, different colored wallpapers, but be that as it may, that's fine. You have a nice choice of colors there. Screenshot, accessories, uh, not not much really, not, not a lot that sticks out here for me for beginners, beginners except of course, of course using Synapse to find stuff on your computer. Uh, Synapse is highly, highly recommended that you use that all the time. And that I had to install. Uh, let's see, development, nothing here for beginners, graphics, uh, document viewer for reading your uh, uh, PDF file, stuff like that, multimedia, some of this I had to install, uh, I tried to record my desktop, it's garbage as usual, Kazam worked okay, Kaden Live, you may want to take a look at the Pulse Audio Volume Control, that is installed by default, I installed Quad LeBay, that seems to be a little bit more stable, uh, VLC, great media player. Xnoise is installed by default. It's a little bit buggy. It froze on me a couple times. Network, of course, we have Firefox installed by default. This is okay. Uh, you may want to try out Opera. It's going to run faster, I believe. And this is where you need to go to get more information on Manjaro. All right, going down the list, where were we? Uh, Office, it says here LibreOffice installer. I highly recommend that you download that under settings. Lots here. Let's go to customize look and feel. I was playing with this before. Again, you can, this is pretty much self explanatory widget, color, icon, theme, so on and so forth. Uh, I had it, what, what did I have it on? Yeah, let's keep it on this orangey theme here and just click apply and leave it there. Uh, let's go down the list some more. Uh, we looked 
at settings, advanced settings. This is where you can take a look at Conkey to change this. I messed with this before. It's not uh, that difficult, but as it stands, I can't really say that this is for newbies. The default graphic here, the setting, the default setting for Conkey, I think looks pretty cool. Uh, changing the clock from uh, 24 hour to 12 hour format, it's not that intuitive. It, the, if you read the documentation, you'll know how to do it. But again, it's, it's in 24 hour format by default and you may not like that. Okay, under system, add and remove software. This is where you could search and remove and or remove uh, software. And you can scroll down here. Again, this is very minimalistic type of operating system. Simple fonts, graphics, nothing fancy. It, fancy. it can be made fancy, of course, but it really wasn't designed for that, like that, out of the box. Um, let me just, um, how about Skype? Let's say you wanted, I wanted to install Skype. Right-click, install. And if you click this green mark, this check here says commit, click that. I'll just click yes and the password of course installing selected packages you have a progress bar here I kinda like this orange look it kinda reminds me of Florida and that's how you would install a package now Kden Live I had to install it was not uh, actually I take that back uh, I believe Kazam was not in the uh, Manjaro uh, repository I had to use I had to use something what I call yogurt. Now it's not yogurt. I I'm just I like to say it that way. it's actually I believe it's yogurt. Now the yogurt uh, that links I believe into the AUR the Arch user repository that will help you download not necessarily official supported uh, software. Uh, from what I understand. If that's wrong, someone please correct me, those of you who use Arch. But by using yogurt, I just like to call it that, but it's yogurt, W, I'm sorry, Y-A-O-U-R-T, -O -U -O -U I believe. A, a few extra steps to install software. Not difficult, but again, it's not, shall I say, standard uh, as if trying to install it something in Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Zorin. But that's what I did. And now this is almost done here. Let's, let, let's keep going here. Uh, let's see, system. Uh, I highly recommend if, if, you, if, if you're going to keep this, download and install Cairo uh, Doc. This will give you some shortcuts here at the bottom. This will make it much easier for you, in my opinion, to go straight to your applications. You can customize this to any way that you want. Highly recommend Cairo Doc really for any uh, Linux based operating system. Uh, whether you have this or Ubuntu or Linux Mint. So my final thoughts, and the last thing here, and, and this is done, command finished okay, so we're good installing uh, Skype. The panel bar at the top, again, right-clicking on it, it's not quite as intuitive, say, as uh, Linux Mint Mate, where you can right-click and add applets and stuff like that. And this is the time here, time here again. You can't, like, left-click and go to properties and change the... Uh, format. So again, read the documentation. If you take the time to read the documentation, Manjaro Linux open box is super, super fast. I love it simply for its speed. Is this for beginners? The best answer that I can give you is maybe. If you're willing to take the time to read and learn, sure. If you're not, if you're looking for a click and go, what I call click and go operating system out of the box, and this is definitely not for you. There's nothing wrong with it being that way, but if you want something a little bit similar, I will be taking a look at the Linux, uh, I'm sorry, the XFCE version of this. That may be a little bit more user friendly but as far as arch based uh, Linux systems go they are uh, famously known for their speed and this one even in, in even in a virtual machine I love it. it is insanely fast I may just keep this in the virtual box test a few more things and maybe give you an update on this but for beginners and uh, maybe maybe but if, if if you're looking for a click and go type of system then this is probably not for you all right I will end it here uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, for those of you who continue to comment on why Windows users can't switch to Linux, thank you for all of your comments. 
Uh, I may do one where I flip-flop it why Linux users can't switch to Windows. But anyway, that being said, thank you for watching this, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.